Okay, today we're going to do a demonstration for you on a Toyota uh, IDO grinder. This is a uh, universal machine, uh, size-wise. It's about a, a 12 by 20 work area, about a six six and a quarter inch uh, center height. There gives you a little over 12 inches, maybe maybe 13. Uh, 14 inch grinding wheel with a five inch bore, a swing down uh, grinding spindle for ID grinding work, uh, and of course the uh, headstock can swivel. So basically uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the grinding wheel up. And uh, you have a rapid in and out or a cycle start here. This is a plunge grind. We come in, we start our work head and we feed to zero and we start our spark out timer and it kicks out. Now this machine is equipped with a Northfield high precision chuck, air chuck. Works like that. And uh, it's currently wired for 220 volts. Some accessories with it. We're going to take some pictures of that stuff. Some additional quills for the spindle. Uh, it's a really nice looking machine. Nice heavy duty, well built machine. Uh, that's your Toyota. Let me show you a um, to go into Traverse. We put that there. We put that there, we put the table on, and we come in, and now we feed it each reversal. You could set a dwell on one side or the other, or you can set the table speed. It'll go nice and slow. It's got a coarse feed and a fine feed. And it has this switch in the middle here so that uh, it knows when it's at the reversal side. It won't kick out in the middle of your, of your long shaft. If you're grinding a shaft, it'll wait till the reversal hits the switch there when the spark out time is up and it'll kick out. So there you have it. That's the Toyota. Very nice grinder, 220 volts. Uh, thank you very much. You've been